Hey beautiful, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be retrying a foundation that I have tried I think at least twice and was not a huge fan of it but I have grown in my makeup, I don't know, repertoire, in my application, in my education and I wanna try it again now that I've found ways and products that work better for my skin. I have an oily skin type, it is acne prone. I have dark spots and things like that on my face that I do like to cover somewhat. I don't like a full, you know, Juvia's Place kind of style foundation, but I do like a more even skin tone. And so today we're going to be trying again the Fenty Soft Matte Foundation. I got just a mini size of this because again, I've tried it already didn't like it the first couple of times and I was not going to spend all that money on a big one. So yeah, let's give this a shot. Now I promise y'all one day I will come to you and be already dressed for the day, you know, have on some full clothes because there have been a lot of videos where you just see me in this robe, but this robe is so comfortable. It's definitely one of my favorites. So say nothing, say nothing. For primer, I've been trying to use this Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte uh, Primer. It is no longer available. It's definitely one of my favorites, but they discontinued it because that's usually how that goes. As soon as you find something you like, it is then gone. But I'm gonna use that today because I know how this works and I'll be able to differentiate if it's the foundation or if it is the primer. So in the foundation, I picked up the shade 385. This is the Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. This has 40 shades, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just double check here on the website. Yeah, I believe it's got 40 shades. Vegan, long wearing, best for oily combo or normal skin. Full coverage, but doesn't feel heavy. Per the website, it says a soft matte long wear foundation with buildable medium to full coverage in a boundary baking range of 50 shades. Ooh, I stand corrected. 50 shades, matte, liquid, uh, free of parabens and phthalates, cruelty free, long wearing, light as air foundation, gives skin an instantly smooth, pore diffused, shine free finish. The oil free formula is made with climate adaptive technology that's resistant to sweat and humidity, which we definitely need because we live here in Iowa and won't clog pores. So that whenever, so that wherever you are, it's going to work on your skin. Yes, we're gonna go ahead and get into that. I'm gonna use a sponge. One, because I don't have any brushes clean and I don't feel like cleaning brushes. I did clean the sponge. They are, I have one that's wet, where'd it go? They are um, stained because obviously I've used them a lot, but that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna go ahead and go right here and right here you can tell it's definitely more liquidy now with a sponge you are going to get sheerer coverage than with a brush and i could use a brush but if there's other foundation on it then that's not really going to give a clear application of if it's this or if it's other foundation, so I may just have to layer it up. Worst case scenario, I like it, and then I just go buy, you know, the big one. So this is what we're looking like with one coat. Definitely got more, I would say high medium coverage with the sponge, which is to be expected, but it evened out my skin tone, the dark spots over here, aren't as noticeable as they were before it's not bad actually i think i am enjoying how it looks we're gonna see if we can build this up so i did put a little bit more on my face and i'm just gonna build it up kind of here on the cheek area and bring it down a little bit more oh yeah second layer definitely covered a little bit better yeah the second layer gave me kind of more of what i like in a foundation with the sponge, I probably would have gotten that with just one layer with a brush, but either way is perfectly fine. Like I said, worst case scenario is that I like this and then I just go out and buy the big one. So we're looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and put on the rest of my face and then I will be back. 
So I've got everything on my face. I totally went in a different direction than using the minted palette. I went ahead and actually used the Morphe, what is this, Petal Passion. It's a nine pan palette. It's got like pinks in there. I just went in with this one and a little bit of this one and then actually covered it with this one because I wanted kind of a blend. And this is the Star Wars Mandalorian. I call it the Child Palette. Mine's is well loved. And went in with this kind of green. Uh, I did use the concealer from Fenty. This is the Pro Filter Concealer. Everything blended out really well on top of it. I don't remember that happening the last time. I remember struggling a little bit with it. So I don't know if maybe they've reformulated it or what, but everything blended out really well. Uh, bronzer is gonna be the Elf Putty Bronzer, Mascara, Rare Beauty, Liner, the Makeup Forever New Liquid Liners that came out not too long ago. Um, lip is the, what is this, Juvia's Place. And then the Pretty in Pink Lipstick by Minted. Um, am I forgetting anything? Uh, highlight in regards to concealer, Flower Beauty, one of my favorites. Absolutely love that, but the shade range just sucks on that. Like, it's horrible. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's everything that I did. Uh, oh, brows. Could not forget brows. Uh, let's see here. Juvia's Place pen and then the Morphe brow pencil. I don't know where I put that at, but that's what I used on my brows. And then I just set everything with the makeup... Uh, sorry, with the Milani Make It Last Matte. One of my favorites. Absolutely will be in my collection forever. Uh, so yeah, that is how we're looking right now. I didn't do a timestamp right now. It's 11.42. I probably started this about 11.15 or so. So I will check in throughout the day and we'll kind of see how it goes. I've got a pretty long day. Both jobs. I work today. I got a couple of errands that I need to run. So it's going to get a really good wear test. Also, it's going to be humid because it just rained like an hour ago. And then it's also supposed to be like 90 degrees. So it's going to be humid. So sweat proof, what they claim, sweat proof, humidity proof. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. All right. So we are about four hours in. It's just before three o'clock. And this is what we're looking like. This is a lot of shine breakthrough for four hours like hmm, i don't really know that this is working out again um it's not breaking up or anything like that like it doesn't look cakey it doesn't look like it's breaking apart none of my true skin is coming through as of yet but there is just a lot of shine like right here usually this is what it looks like six seven hours in not four so I don't know that this is working out. Yeah, I don't know that it's already, like it just seems like it's already not working out with the claims. I've been outside, I had to run and get groceries from Sam's Club, so it definitely got some of that humidity, you know, things like that. Um, so yeah, it's just, I don't know. I don't know, I just, mm, this might just be one that just does not work for me, but we'll continue to wear it. I will check in much later. I'm going to try not to blot, but I do have to work my other job tonight and I definitely want to be presentable. So I might blot. If I do, I will definitely be sure to update you and let you know and uh, try and keep the tissue or whatever so you can see if there is any transfer, things like that, because I think it says that it was like transfer resistant. Uh, but uh, yeah. The shine breakthrough is real for four hours in. We're just going to keep going. We'll see what All right, so it is the end of the night. I do have on my ring light because it is 10 o'clock here. And the sun has gone completely down at this point. Uh, so yeah, ring light is showing it just a little bit more oily than it is. But it's still pretty true to what it looks like in real, real light. Uh, I'm honestly not pleased. I did end up having to plot around 5 o'clock. And as you see, quite a bit of it did come off on the tissue that I used. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of shine breakthrough. There are even pieces of it that have broken down. Um, some of it has even disappeared. I just, I don't, I don't understand. Like I know that this has worked really well for a lot of people. Like it was 
big, you know, and that's why I continue to try it, but I don't think that it's going to be really like one for me. I think that this is the last time that I will be trying this, that this is not, this is not it for me. Um, I may try it tomorrow my time with another primer. I really enjoy the Farsali one, uh, the pink, what is this called? The liquid powder one that does also do a really good job at mattifying my skin. So I may try that tomorrow. So be sure to make sure you're subscribed, hit the like button, notification bell for when I do an updates video. But as of right now, this is going to be a no for me. If this is one you like, I definitely want to know, like, feel free to share that in the comments as well. But I'm going to sign off for the night. I love you guys. I pray that God continues to bless you and I will see you next time.